I'm Pastor Demos. I um, pastor a church in the Bronx River Housing Projects. Um, I am the president of Concerts of Prayer Greater New York. I'm a father. I'm a follower of Christ. And I come from a very dark past where God was able to bring me through. Um, I was a street God. I was in the drug world. I ran an empire. And uh, 30 of my friends are no longer with us. But by God's grace, I stand here today, a saved man in the Lord. Um, in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, if anyone sold drugs in that area in the marijuana uh, business or in the crack business, that there were different moments where every last person's drugs uh, was somehow connected to me. And, uh, and that was addictive to have that much power and influence and to be loved and feared at the same time. But also it came with great paranoia of knowing that somebody else would want to take my throne as a street god and would want to murder me. And, uh, and God gave me a lot of close calls where um, just if it wasn't for the miraculous power of God, I wouldn't be talking to you right now or talking on this video. So. There was a point where the hitman came to take me out. And then I just prayed silently. I said, God, I'm in your hands. And I still felt the peace. And he was like, yo, man, you know what's going on? You know what happened to my brother? And then he just then just pointed the gun towards my head and I saw a tear begin to fall down his cheek. And that's when I knew he's about to pull the trigger. And then he just kept snapping it and trying to fix it and snapping it, trying to fix it and snap it. And by the power of God, no bullets came out of that gun. And he knew at that point I was a fighter. So he turned to his friend that was there and they both took off running. And at that point, I just turned to God and said, Lord, whatever you want, whatever, whenever, with however you want to use me, my life is yours for the rest of my life. Wherever you want me to go, if you would just make it clear that it's you speaking, I'll go anywhere, I'll take any risk, I'll do anything for you. And that was the greatest prayer that I ever prayed. And that was the full surrender of my life not belonging to me, but my life belongs to God. And that's what started me on the journey of following Christ like never before. Well, Daylight, Daylight was my street name. Daylight was a name that attached to me, you know, when I was leading operations in the dark side. And then when I came to Christ, that name still, you know, sticks, but now it's the light of the chosen one whose God is just, you know, pour us through to help other people see a light in this dark world. Well, I knew after examining my walk and my life that programs weren't going to save me, that, you know, though they're helpful, um, I knew morality wouldn't save me, like just in my own strength making decisions. But the difference between me and my 30 friends that are dead was Jesus. So how could I walk away from that and just be like, I'm happy that I have Jesus and I'm doing well. But I said, God, please use me to go in and give this solution to the deadliest disease in the world, which is not HIV, but it's SIN. And I knew that God could help me liberate people. And that's why this book is here today. I want to liberate people from the power of darkness.